Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is a hot and humid day and it is supposed to rain anytime soon. So I'll try and get this video in before it rains. Today I'm going to be pruning my lemon bonsai, I'm going to be repotting my fern, and I'm going to be planting my cashew seeds. Here's a look at my lemon tree and it's starting to grow. They put in growth spurts. They sit there dormant for a long time, gaining energy, and then they put out a big growth spurt and then they sit there dormant for a long time again. So this is the time where it's starting to grow. So I want to prune it back to size. It's getting a little tall and yeah, get it a little more compact. I've had my cashew seeds here soaking for two days now and they are plumped up and ready to plant. So I'll get those in pots. And I have a fern here that's sort of an accent plant for a bonsai show if there ever is one someday and there will be. If I turn it around you can see the back of the pot is broken. So I've got to put it in a new pot and I've got some nice pots by Wayne that I can uh, put them in. I'm going to start by pruning the lemon tree back, getting rid of all those tall straight sections on it, getting some more compact growth kind of down below with some hard pruning. I'm going to start the pruning now. So this is the front of the tree. I marked it long ago, right there. So I want to prune a lot of these branches back. Um, there's a tall one here I can prune back. So I'll take it back to here because I have two branches coming off here and here. Like that. I've got a branch coming out the back here that I don't really need because I have a branch here and one here. I could take that one right off. Let me just see. I don't know, it's not a bad branch. I think I'll keep it, I'll just prune it back to here. Like that. Getting it more compact. I've got a branch that sweeps out here. There's no growth in this area. So I'm going to have to do a hard prune there. So I'm going to take it off right here. So here I go. Like that. How's that looking now? Looking better? I've got a long branch out the back here that could get pruned off. I'll try it to there for starters. And I've got I've got this one is too long. I need to prune it back, so I'm going to go back to here. Like that. So there's the front of the tree. So you can see it's a lot more compact now. So when the new growth comes in, it'll kind of fill in the tree. It won't be so long and tall. Here's a look at the lemon tree from the front view now. I do have to repot it into a slightly larger pot, maybe an oval pot, with this as the front view. I think it's developing nicely. It's got a lot of subtle movement in the trunk, which is you know, kind of unusual on a lemon tree. Usually they grow so quickly that you get the big straight sections on the trunk, but this one I've been pruning it, clip and grow over many, many years, so it's developing a bit of character to the trunk. So I'm happy I'll be, uh, be nice to start developing this canopy on the tree. And uh, yeah, we'll keep doing updates in the future. So let's uh, plant the cashew seeds next. I am ready to plant the cashews. I have my rubber glove on. The oil from these cashew nuts or seeds is very toxic and could cause a severe skin rash. So you've gotta be really be careful handling them. Now, this glove, this is an old dishwashing glove. It does have a few holes in the finger here. So I'm going to have to be very careful to try and not get any liquid inside my glove. I'll be very careful. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is drain off some of this water that's in the bucket. When the water settles in the bucket here, I can see a, like an oily film on top, and that's the oil that's very toxic. So I'm going to drain that out, and then uh, I can handle the seeds and they'll be a little more dry so it won't get in my glove. All right, I'll drain the water out now. So 
also there's four seeds that floated. You can see there's another two coming out now. All the rest remain sunk on the bottom. Okay, let me pick up those ones that fell out. I think they're viable. All right, I've got my soap and water on hand. In case I start getting a skin rash, I can always just spray my skin and clean off the oil. I'm going to plant three seeds per pot and I think I've got maybe 10 pots so that'll be plenty to do the uh, amount of seeds I soaked. All right so here I go. These pots come with drainage screens built in to the bottom but they're a little large and my particles would fall through so I put some auxiliary drainage screens in the bottom. I'll just hold them in place while I pour some soil on top. All right here I go. This is my bonsai soil I'm using. It's half perlite and half safety zorb for Fuller's Earth. Whatever Fuller's Earth is, <laughs> I don't know. I just use it. Okay, that'll do. Now I'll get out the seeds. All right, I'll pour the seeds into the trays here. There we go. And now I can select which ones I want to plant. All right, so here I go. Now, it looks like the seed is attached, careful on my finger there, is attached at the top here. So usually I plant the seeds the way they would fall off the tree. So this is the top where it's attached. So it would fall down that way. So I put the C shape with the uh, belly button upwards. So the seed will go in like this, the C shape, the belly button upward. Just like that. I'm picking out nice plump ones. Here's another one. We'll put it that one in here. Like that. And this one's a good plump looking one. Put this one over here. These cashews are fast growing trees. That's why I'm only putting three per pot. I was going to put one per pot, but I thought, uh, I don't think I have that many pots. So three it is. Okay. So I'm going to leave them sticking out of the soil like that a bit. Now I'll give it a thorough watering. These cashew seeds came directly from the country Laos. And I've read that you have to plant them within about four weeks of picking them so they don't last long so these these are very fresh seeds they should do quite well here I go with the water let the magic begin there go. I'll put the seeds in the greenhouse because I don't want squirrels getting in digging up the nuts here I go with the next batch of seeds. Here's a nice fat one. Stick that in there. Like that. Another nice one here. That one can go in like this. And here's a good one. Okay, I can water those now. Okay. And that one can go in the greenhouse too. I'll just keep repeating the process 
until all the seeds are planted. I think I'm going to go five per pot. I'm planting the last four seeds. I've uh, I've used up some of that old soil I had. It's sort of a mix of bonsai soil and garden soil. It doesn't drain near as well as the bonsai soil. I'll show you that when I water it. But I'm hoping it works okay to germinate these cashews. Okay, so here I go with the watering and you'll see how it pools up. So even though this is a very porous soil, it pools up on the surface like that. It takes a while to drain through. And that's because all those spaces between the particles are clogged with fine, finer particles. So it takes a long time to drain. On the plus side, it does retain a lot of water. So you could probably, you know, skip a day of watering, water this every two days. Whereas the, you know, the new bonsai soil would be You'd have to water it once or maybe twice a day. So you can see it's still pooling in there, the water. All right, so that can go in the greenhouse. All right, off comes the rubber glove. If I can get it off. <laughs> it's a really warm, humid day here today. There you go. Oh, that feels better. All right, the last thing I want to do today is plant that fern in a new pot. Come on, Parkers. Stop for a bug. <laughs> Hello. She ate a fuzzy caterpillar, too. Come on. Come on, Parkers. Don't step on them. Lower, lower. Are you trying to beat me? Oh, found another bug. Oh, there he goes. That was a worm sticking its head up. You didn't get it though. This is my fern accent plant. It just started growing in one of my bonsai pots. And to me, a fern means, you know, lushness. Uh, ferns grow in ideal growing conditions, rich, moist soil, out of the way of the wind. So usually in the middle of a forest or a protected area, an old growth forest. So they can be an accent plant to many trees. They can be an accent plant to tropical trees or, you know, cedars and larches to it gives the feeling of an old growth forest. Okay, well, let's get it out of the pot. Which shouldn't be too hard because it's already half out of the pot. There it comes. Okay, so there is a drainage screen in the bottom down here. I'm hoping I can get out. Quite a mat of roots down here. Wow. A really good mat of roots. <laughs> That's not easy to get out at all. There it goes. So these kind of roots, I don't need to rake them out or anything. Um, I'm just going to sort of loosen up the, the root base here and put it in the new pot. I bought four of Wayne's pots at the KW Bonsai Society's parking lot swap meet. So I've got this one with kind of a brown 
almost like a copper colored glaze on it. I've got sort of a bluish, greenish, gray glaze on that one. This one's a metallic. It's really cool. Reminds me of Stefan's Pots. I've never seen that in a, a glaze before. It's really cool. And then I've got kind of a bamboo colored one, I'd say. Reminds me of bamboo anyway. So yeah, those are the four pots. I'm going to try the fern in each of these pots and we'll see how that looks and maybe which looks best. All right, here's pot number one. It looks nice in that pot. Pot number two. I think I like pot number one better. It had that kind of brown that picked up the, uh, you know, the older leaves of the fern. Pot number three, the metallic one. I don't, it looks okay. I don't think it does anything for the planting though. And the last one, pot number four. Again, it looks okay. I think it's too bright. It takes, your eye goes away from the fern down to the pot. So I think pot number one is the ideal choice. this one here. Yeah, I like that one a lot. To plant the fern, I'm just going to place it in the pot, kind of in the middle like that, and then I'm going to fill it with soil around the existing root mass. And then I'll work the soil in a bit. So just kind of like slip potting it because it is kind of out of season. And ferns don't really have like woody roots anyway. They just kind of have fibrous roots, I, I believe. Now they will grow a trunk up on the ferns. So you can, you can create a tree fern. I've never seen one as a bonsai, I don't think, but uh, it'd be kind of exciting doing that. And again, I've always wanted to do a Jurassic Park kind of theme with a big dinosaur ferns and prehistoric looking trees, maybe monkey puzzle trees, or something like that, that looks really cool and ancient. I'll be coming up sometime in the future, I'm sure. Okay, so I'm just going to get the soil kind of worked in now. It's all looking very good. Sure like this pot, that's for sure. I really like this pot. I think it suits the fern really well. Okay, a little more soil around the back side here. Or doesn't really have a front, I guess, but. Okay, that is looking good. Let's get it watered. All right, here I go with the water. I'm going to trim off some of the older leaves that are hanging down from the bottom so I can see into water this. That is looking better. So what will complete this is to have some moss covering the surface of the soil here. That would really add to the lushness. So that'll probably happen all by itself. It'll probably grow moss. If not, you know, if we ever have a show coming up, I'll plant moss at the base here. All right, more water now. Here's an example of how an accent plant can complement a bonsai. It gives it a kind of a natural setting. I had fun today trimming a tree, my lemon tree, planting my cashew seedlings, and repotting my fern. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the bonsai zone.